Hey guys, welcome to DevOps School. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about Fortify. Fortify automates the process of developing and deploying secure applications. It helps to resolve application vulnerabilities by integrating vulnerability analysis throughout the overall software lifecycle from development to testing and even deployed applications. After going through this tutorial, I promise you that the concept and understanding of the Fortify will be absolutely clear to you. But before we begin, let me inform you a few things about us. DevOps School is one of the leading platforms which offers DevOps, Cloud and Containers Technology training and certification programs for freshers and established professionals who wish to update and consolidate their skills in the dynamic IT scenario. We ensure that the training solutions are delivered by highly experienced domain experts with practical working experience in various verticals. You can join our all training programs globally through online platforms and if you are looking for classroom workshop then we have regular batches available in Hyderabad and Bangalore. Check out the dates and enroll with us for our upcoming batches. For more info, link and contact details are mentioned in the description below. So what I was talking about uh, was like, uh, what is a Fortify? So Fortify uh, is to analyze uh, security issues uh, of running application. Okay, code review of the source code. Okay, uh, and then in the development environment, in the QA environment, in the production environment, in the development environment, normally you do the code review. In the QA environment, you can analyze the security aspects of it in the running setup. Security review, you can look at it, the, the prod environments also in the run. Uh, so those are the things which you can do that. So this is the 45. Now, if you look at this stake, which we are covering uh, as part of our course, uh, we started from somewhere here and then we, we, we are reaching here, okay? So here in the security, uh, we are going to talk about the 45. Now, important thing is 45, though it has uh, so many features, we will be doing using the only for the security analysis because, because we have already used a uh, sonar cube uh, for the code analysis okay so that is we have already uh, covered with that. okay so now this is the one now develop this tool was developed by hp e and after that sold to sold to a company called microfocus okay so this tool is been managed by Focus now. now in terms of uh, the question is like what are the competitors what are the other tools we have in this category other tools so in terms of other tools we have a sonar cube which is anyways there which is a main competitor of 45 again uh, covarity is also there which you can use for the scanning purpose and stuff like that so covarity is also in now uh in how to install it so how to install it so basically a fortify is not having one software fortify is having so many uh, small small applications okay so fortify you have for the uh, desktop version okay fortify you have for the web version okay fortify you have a plugins to integrate with id you have 45 agents which uh, you can install uh, in a uh, prod runtime prod and qa runtime uh, runtime uh, you have a dashboard 45 dashboard we have so so many things are there okay uh, 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 in in order to do that so here uh, the one desktop version which you call it a audit workbench audit work bench okay this is the one which is a desktop version now how to install it so first thing you have to have a prerequisite jdk8 i mean jre8 okay that is a prerequisite and after that once you know that if you know that any software which has been developed in jdk or jre then it can be installed in the windows it can be installed in the Linux. It can be installed in the Mac also. Simple. So you can install in the Windows, Linux, Mac. Now the question is, can I install it? The problem here is no. Because here for T5, 45, 
four, three, four, five download. If I go to here, Spotify download micro services, uh, micro focus, sorry. Okay, and now if you go to here, they have removed the download option for the installer. So we can install in the desktop and you know set it up all this time. All this thing you can set it up in the desktop. So what they made it available? They made it available trial, which is available only for the hosted solution. So hosted solution means you have to start accounts, go for the product which is called Fortify. And this is the product which is 45 on demand, which you can try. 45 on demand means the 45 installation will be done in on your uh, will be done by them. You just you have to go and use it. So you have to go and click try create accounts and blah blah blah. Okay. So 10 minutes before I created uh, accounts, I was looking for the installer, but I could not get it. So normally uh, installer which we have. Uh, I mean, which we had uh, is like a very old installer, uh, and that I don't have right now access to that because uh, that's a property of uh, my project, and I'm not not able to access it. That so unfortunately, yes, installations will not be able to do that. But it's like I just click, 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 next, 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 and that kind of things. Okay, so these are the things. Now, if you look at this uh, here, they have installed it for us. This is a web-based software. And uh, they have installed it for us, and then these are the some of the project. These are the some of the project which you have uh, analyzed. Another project name is Geo Parody. Another project name is Web. Goat. Another project is Open SSL. Another project is I Goat, and like that you have so many projects. If you look at this, some of these like a PHP, .NET, C, Java, C plus, uh, Objective C for the Mac. Cobol and Java again and no source. So these are the projects you have. Now this project has been analyzed already. Now if you look at this, fail, 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 fail. These are the statistics of the project. Now how many critical security issues you have? Here 161, 135, 64. How many high we have? How many medium we have? How many low? So when the project is analyzed, you get this one. Now the project, how this analyzing will happen? So 45 is a commercial tool, okay? It's not open source. So they have an inbuilt algorithm, which is already in place. So using that algorithm, they analyze the project and make it critical, high, medium, and low, okay? So as per the needs, they do that. So now let's look at this one of the project, which is called I, uh, I uh, what do you say? Uh, I go uh, uh, Java. If I see that here, 43 critical uh, issues are there, okay? Now you see that you can see the group by here assigned user, auditor, status, category, sync, source, all these things you have it. Basically, there are seven categories in which each issue is defined. In fact, now you got more actually. So in the desktop version, you will find the seven version, seven categories. But here in the web version, which is the most latest one, they have so many categories. So look at this here, cross-site. Insecure SSL, insecure transaction, and so many kind of issues which you have, and how many issues you have it. So basically, if you see that intent manipulation related security issues have 80. So like that, you can click on this uh, issues, click on the issues uh, which was raised by the 45. Okay, and then okay. Now this is the Java name, Java file name where you have issues. This is a line number. Which you have issues now you want to assign these issues to someone else so let's say you assign to someone else as of now i don't have a team here so i can assign only to my person myself only here again you can see that these are the open status like open it already resolved closed will not fix third party component or some auditor status also is there so one is like a developer status Another one is like auditor status. So here, let's say if I assign to Rajesh, Rajesh will modify all this thing. And then someone will be auditor who will be also doing that. Also, you are going to set the severity. You can change the severity. So right now here, the severity was critical, I guess. So you can change the severity as per the things. It's something similar to Sonar Cube, but much, much richer than that. Okay, and then submit the changes. 
Okay, so here this is done, and then you submitted the changes, and accordingly, all these things will happen. Now, these are the problems which you have in your source code. Okay, uh, as I said, like uh, what is the problem? Who made this problem? How to fix this problem? Introducing date when it was last found. What is the status? How can you fix it? Everything you have been given here. Okay, look at this. You have to read it. Now, this is your this you don't have to do that because this will be done by the programmers okay those who write a program so they will read this instruction and then they will take a call now they have give, they've been given some of the recommendations also by following the recommendation they can fix that issues the code which you want to see that which code has the issue so here you have a code also and uh, you can see that now diagram also if you want to see that here you have a diagram which method so this is the class uh, method attributes which uh, which is having issues so basically see this is the red line which is uh, returning the value uh, to the method which is called get username has some issues and they want you to they want the programmer to fix that issue now here all this thing which i'm showing you on the uh, on the uh, website is like a web mode same thing you can get it on the desktop waste software also little bit of the ui will be changed like the interface and all will be changed but almost same thing you get it okay so this is the way so now if you have issues then you can tra trace back the issues find out the issues recommendations you can update that all this information you can write a comment you can add it everything you can do that here you can see that my open issues again how many issues which got assigned to you so as of now uh, i have only one issues just now which i assigned it apart from that uh, you see the in expand all collects all all these things you can see you can also search the issues and stuff like that okay so now if you look at this here in this uh, application view you have issue how many scans it has been done on this project so basically two times it has been done look at the dates also started and completed so basically it's the same date has happened okay so but, but it has happened in the two times okay now apart from that you can see the event logs run event log so when you run the scanning okay it generate the logs right so these are the logs uh, which is got generated 25 display how many lines you want to see so it, it has only five lines so you can't see more than that okay here you if you want to generate a report of that the issues which you have uh, got it so you can generate a report also so you can create a new report here and you can select which project you want to create so of course you are working in the applications i got android java so you can generate the report for that one only after that next uh, give the name java code and uh, give the notes what kind of reports you want html and pdf and then next okay all these are uh you know self driven things okay now you want there are so many uh, templates has been given these are the templates in which the reports will be generated so you just want hybrid summary sort of it not too much detail you though you want the detail you can go for the other type also but this is the one of the reports which you generated right now and then you can uh, also you can schedule the report you can send a notification so this is the one right now just i created and created by this ensign queue. I will just refresh it. The listen queue. So report is being generated. And now you see the status started. Uh, so sync queue, it got started, it will take some time. Let me refresh and completed. So the moment it got completed, you can see the end of it. One icon is there, which you can download now you just you have downloaded the report now this report you can send it to your team or anyone who's responsible uh maybe manager maybe architect maybe religion man engineers and all this thing okay so these all are things you can do that now if you look at that uh, reports i'm just trying to open up Here. Now see that it's a hybrid view, so you can see this such a nice report. It has been generated on the click. So you know these are the things which is missing in the Sonar queue, open or open source version. So these are the things which you love it. See all this thing is in put it in proper way. You know? So summarized way, not a detailed way. 
you can send it to someone who's responsible for that apart from that you see that uh, you have got the scan you can uh, you if you want to run the more scan click on the more scan here uh, so let me uh, do that here uh cancel imported scan this is in progress one is in progress actually this is an already in progress okay so if you go to the application view and now if you go to java and create one more release release name 2.5 because i had a 2.4 and production next and save and start scan so this is the static or mobile scan i just did it uh, here you when you want to want to start scan you have to select the assessment type assessment type means what are the kind of you know uh, you want so basically here uh, these are the for the purchasing is available this is a free so i can use for that whichever is free uh, language 1.8 all these thing you have to select and then start a scan okay so now this is the source code where is your source code now source code i have actually in the d drive I have to zip it actually. It's getting uploaded. Next, everything is done. And start scanning. So this is a new scanning. I just did it and save it for the future reference. So this is the stuff. So now, like this, you can do that. You have a mobile applications. Also, you can do that here. Uh, you can generate a report. Some of the setting options are here. So these are the applications view what you have for the iCode. Now, if you go to the dashboard, this is the dashboard here. You have a, some of the summary reports, uh, some of the pause scan, some of the uh, active in title means means how many uh, total number of uh, scans happen you, how many uh, this is basically uh, entitlement like a kind of scan happen and then uh, how much of uh, what do you say um, license you purchase so as your as of now it's a trial license so it's no use for tendering and uh, prevalent issues these are the summary of this total you have these are the one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine uh kind of categories you had earlier you, it, it used to be seven seven kind of categories now it's become a nine so now all this has the number of applications number of issues and like that so here you have all this stuff you can go and you know it's like a big pan view and all this thing you can see that now you can you want to create a generator report which is uh, you know uh, again uh, which i should just now show you i just created this report you can go for this reports here also so you have a two places all the interfaces which is there inside the each application that options is there and on the top also that option is there under the administration section you can uh, assign that uh, policy assignments medium low policies how many policies you have so these are the things which you can do that and finally you can purchase so basically here we don't have so many other options because of trial version uh, because uh, we'll have to purchase it and desktop version of the 45 i'm not having it so if, if that was having so many other issues also if you look at the tools here uh, i click on the tools at the marketplace microfocus.45 you can find a lot of tools which you can integrate with the 45 here look at this here 
So Fortify, you can integrate with the nine different IDs, seven different build servers, two different clouds, five different open source product containers also. Some of the stuffs are there. So these are the good things which you can integrate with the Fortify and you know uh, do the things as you need, need it actually. Uh, I want to subscribe, not now, just that. Okay, so these are the open source product which you can integrate with. Uh, you can uh, integrate the Sona type dependency track plugins and stuff like that. Apart from that, uh, here you can create your own applications also. So here, if you look at this here, I have these many applications. I can create a new applications also. So again, same, create your new application, new app. High business criticality type, what kind of type you have. So web client or mobile based uh, email notification description next. Here release name. So again, you can give it the release name. Still cycle development QA test, whatever. Again, who's the owner of this next. Select out again. What kind of uh, application this is e-commerce. Uh, what kind of applications in uh, kind of interface you have GUI and all the stuff like that select next and put it off everything and your application is created okay after that you have to give the source code location so this automatically scans will be done so you don't have to control the rules and stuff like that you have already selected it so now you can start the scan here static so as I said, there's a two kind of scan. Uh, you can do that a static scan, which is on the code review. Dynamic stat, uh, scan will be done on the runtime. So for the dynamic uh, uh, scan, I cannot run it because the source code I have to run it. And that is problem. So here you have, where is your source code? So it's in uh, source code uh, control, which is disabled actually because of this is a trial version. So you can upload the again same thing which you can do uh, that you have to locate the manual download everything and then start scan. This is the again same thing. Next and start scan. So this is the way you can set it up. All these visual tools are like easy to do. Nothing uh, great. Uh, it's like not too much of complexity is there and this is a new app which i just did it release 3.5 uh, 4 and uh, static and dynamic based on the, your need you can do that right now single scan is in progress status is in progress as of now cancel scan that means is in progress so right now and see here also is in progress so let me refresh is in progress we take uh, four five minutes to get it done and then it will submit the reports so like that uh, because of fortify is a paid tool uh, so many things you have a flexibility with it and you can also network scanning also you can do for the production server production server okay uh, dynamic scanning you can do here for the qa and uh, static scanning you can do for the dev code code scanning actually so these are the three scanning which you can do that okay there's a command line option which also there uh, command line options is also there 45 command line so you can do the scanning through the command line also but the only thing is like you have to buy for that unfortunately earlier they had uh, uh, options to download and you know try try license and all you can try it out in the your laptop itself but that option they have removed it recently and that old downloads i don't have it I just, so i checked that so i don't have it so for, unfortunately we have to uh, look at this for this tool only okay so very uh, important tools the what will be your roles and responsibility what is your roles and responsibility in this uh, front so first thing you have to uh, implement the security analysis so what you can do basically you can't do the programming and uh, do the critical fixes of the security issues and all but what you can do you can integrate first thing 
integrate for this first, first thing which you can do set up a fortify central server central server okay second thing is okay set up after that you have to install a agent or plugins we call it plugins in ide okay then once you install the agent they will they will uh, dev will do the dev will uh, do the uh, scanning uh, like uh, what do you say a uh, static scanning okay static scanning and push the reports to push the report to 45 puts the results to 45 okay that is the task you'll have to do that so now third thing what you can do uh, in a ci cd you can set up a scan set up a scan using command line okay and then again push the results to 45 and fourth thing reports generation and scheduling so these are the things your roles and responsibility also you have to make sure that uh, 45 central backup 45 backup and restore process is there with you so these are the things which you are going to perform in terms of it now where can you implement this 45 where can you implement so i have already discussed uh in terms of implementation uh you can you have to implement in the dev environment uh, static mode you have to implement in the qa environment in a dynamic mode dynamic mode and then a uh, prod environment network mode. okay so all this thing will be done uh, by you so you can help your organization to uh, running run the application which is secured and you know all the other things okay. any questions you have on this any questions Amit, Ganapati, Glow, Hari, and others? Not for now. So majorly 45 is used for an analysis. That's it. No, no, no other thing. Um, generally, the 45 is used for the code and security analysis. So when you say code review, so it is the code that I usually will develop and that code will be reviewed by the 45 right yeah that's the reason i said you have to integrate the plugins uh, 45 plugins in id and developer will do the scan if you want to do the scanning as part of the ci cd uh, oh. then you have to use the command line option of the 45. all right so they will do the static scanning okay and about the security scanning also you said uh, it will be done by the dev or you know 45 no, no, no. security scanning uh, no basically when you the code review it includes the security analysis also but when All you right. do that qa uh, qa is like a dynamic dynamic analysis where you will be running the application means qa will be running the application and uh, uh, during the runtime itself scanning will be happening Okay, the moment the, the code is running in the QA environment, the scan will happen at simultaneously. Right, yeah. The, it's like this. After installing and setting up your software, you will mm -hmm. run the automated test. And parallelly, you will run the uh, 45 uh, analyzer also in the JRE runtime environment. So there will be a log window which will open and I can see everything which has been uh, 45 will scan. Yeah, so and... it will create one reports and push, push it into the 45 center also push into the 45 center so there will be a, a separate center running but i can review that this is the one basically this is the one okay. this, this is, is the case all right okay so i can see yeah. fail pass whatever it is critical like it. so it will be data and in the pre-prod environment Unfortunately, here, this is the 
this is a managed one but uh, okay. once you get a license you buy a license they'll give you the installer for everything okay and if i have a problem in the code it, this will notify me ah so if there is a problem in the code developer has to modify not you no, no okay yeah i agree but uh, it is so critical there are some concerns so majorly i have to look into the critical areas and high area medium and low it depends the developer may ignore it but uh, majorly and uh, right. is this 100% accurate say if, if i say if i have developed a code and that code by fortify has been uh, recognized observed as critical or high but according to me it is not high so is there a discrepancy might happen or it is how accurate yes, is yes. this that can happen so first first you analyze the code and if you think that is not the right report you can change the severity from the critical to just info ah i can do that okay so what is the inbuilt pattern that is available within fortify which um, enables fortify to scan and analyze is there some uh, inbuilt uh, ah, dependency so that algorithm just like we had in a rules in sonar cube that kind yes. of algorithm is not exposed here that's a hidden actually and that's the reason they are paying for that I mean, they are charging money for that okay so that algorithm is is locked it is it is not yeah. open so uh, yeah. all right okay you, you can always update with the new fortify rules but rules mm -hmm. you code you can't see it because it's okay. not open source okay but say maybe every time if this happens so the, my, my time will be utilized say because i if i'm running a change in, in a queue environment I, 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 run, I, I started the change and in the change i run my code and somebody that run my 45 and 45 throws me some critical information but according to me it is not so i huh. have to review that so that change time window will be so extended so what happens if I... so what happens whenever you create a project Okay. you create a application here so each application has a multiple release for example if you see that open ssl has one really one release here have two release yeah. so like that uh, every time everyone will be using the same project name application name and different different mm -hmm. release so that way you see that how growth how much growth you are have, you are doing it mm -hmm. okay because usually in releases we have we have very limited there are many many changes to go in one release and if right. one one change fails in a release it impacts a, a other change and entire release eventually so yeah. um, so if 45 gives me a critical issue say in the, in the qa then my release uh, i usually will get a very high alert from the test manager saying your code has so yeah. many of so critical. basically uh, for the qa team and then uh, development team and then the uh, all these things people are using the only one application so the, the you will get the consolidated reports actually yeah obviously okay. it will be a consolidated one usually okay and, and, and one more thing to... yeah get get please yeah. so one of the more uh, other tools which you have here app scan from ibm which is a very strong contender from uh, for this actually mm, okay all right okay I, I see a lot of work to be done in 45. If I have to use it for my release or for my code, then I have to be very accurate because if I cannot modify any of the codes, which is any algorithms or the code they have in well block, then I'll have, uh, all the time I have to depend on 45. And if I saw that, no, so basically which... all this data will be stored in the database. So whatever you, let's say you have a 20 in the first run, out of 20, mm -hmm. you think 10 is out of scope. So you made it not info. So now you'll be having only 10 critical. Next run, you have it, something else. So keep modifying this way and you will have a, a nice numbers. Actually. All right. So the moment I make an amendment into the database, into the values, so it will yeah. uh, save that as my standard uh, selection and, and make our database accordingly. Yeah. And then so basically, it will, let us see if you, if you look at this here. I got mm -hmm. Android is an application name and I run it three times. Okay. 2.4 mm -hmm. I run it two times and 2.5 I run it one time. So accordingly, you can see each run how much is the difference. So look at this here. When I run this 2.4 in the mobile scan type, it got only seven. But again, change it to 5.50. So all this history will be there with you. So you can go back in the history and see that what was the issue. You can come back to the latest one and see that what you fixed it. Mm -hmm. Okay.
all right yeah so it will be a lot of work will be required anyways and what happens in the prepod there is a network um, does it work in a different way in the ah, queue in so the prepod what happens a network type means uh, what exactly you will be doing uh, you will be having the production servers uh, installation yeah. copy of your applications and mm -hmm. you will be running under your environment let's say jd jre or J whatever it is now you install the some of the clients very thin clients in on your network in your on your production server and which will mm -hmm. keep monitoring the activities which you being raised actually okay any re request and response which is been generated it will keep monitoring and based on the algorithm they will report back to you and saying that okay this is something which i have observed which is not according to my uh, things mm -hmm. So there will be a uh, client and server that, that there will be an agent on the pre-production or production servers that will keep updating the Fortify database and will, yeah. will send the report. So, yeah. Okay. So that's something is an ongoing activity, not on flight will be done. So the moment yeah, I have yeah. a code report that the code will be observed and, and I'll get a dashboard out of it. So that yeah. if I make a change, I can should review the code once again. Okay. Got that. Similar things, but in a different manner in the pre-prod. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now coming back to the documentations. Uh, if you go to the, I'll send you the documentation uh, place. So here, all the PDF of official supported version, desktop version, not uh, the uh, the cloud version. Okay, this is you can find it here. So if you see that here, how can you integrate Eclipse with a Fortify? How can you have a Fortify Open SRC? Uh, how can you install the plugins? And how can you have SCA like? Uh, uh, guide is a workbench actually uh, here you some of the tools you have it here visual studio you have it so all this thing a guide you have it uh, already and uh, will be uploaded on the devopschools.com you can access it anytime and then review it this is the all uh, these documents is for the um, desktop version of software only not for the this one any other questions guys No. That's okay from my end. I have no further questions. I will review. I'll set up some uh, trial test and environment and we'll understand. Yeah, it. all these are the GUI based tools. So not much of the difficulties you will find it. The only thing is like you have to implement in your project. That's the only thing we will have a challenge with. So Fortify is the ultimate solutions uh, for the SDLC cycle, you see that it's uh, here. This is the end of this stuff where uh, you have to implement this one. So, in the production environment, these are the tools which we have discussed. One of the tools which you discuss, like an Ansible Puppet, and then Kubernetes, and then here, uh, Datadog and New Relic. Dog monitoring, we did talk about the ELB, sorry, we talked about the Splunk actually. And the performance monitoring, we talk about the New Relic. In the security, we talk about the 45. So, these are one of the tools you have to uh, recommend your project to implement and then based on that you can practice it also and then the project will be secure your product will be secured and then you can do the devops efficiently Raj, do you have uh, any project because uh, you are uh... i cannot hear you what you are trying to say uh, Raj, this is Ganapati. Okay, so when joining, you no, know, you said that the two project we are giving. Ah, uh, 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 yes. So project, I have already given it to you, but uh, no one got the interest to develop that. So this is the location. Let me share that location. So. This is a project, okay, and uh, 
here you have to develop this product and submit to me so if you look at this this is a project in this you have a project name you can keep it anything technology java and mysql architecture of the this product would be nginx tomcat mysql these are the stake what you have step one what you have to do uh, create one java based application which has a following property now this is the java based applications i want you to uh, create it so are you going to write it no you will find a lot of java based project in the github.com you can use anything but the only thing that java based project should be in a war format it should be deployed to nginx and then should you can also deploy in the tomcat also okay after that you are going to find this project put it in the github repository and do the versioning properly okay after that you are going to do the code review of the same project using the sonar queue after that you have to going to do the jvnd test after that nexus after that uh, all the acceptance test you should be having selenium of this particular project and after that you are going to deploy that code using ansible the windows and linux along with the database and stuff like that and then set up a jenkins server and do the pipeline things so this is a project which you have to do that in order to do this project you will run around eight to nine tool consolidate in the linear class okay thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed and learned from this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest want to study further subscribe to our paid membership to get a deep dive into each and every topic do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to our devops school channel and hit the bell icon to learn more keep learning